Good morning, my name is Daniel and I wanted to wait until I was two thirds of the way around this run before making this big claim and panic training. Last weekend I did the outlaw foot as a relay, I did the bike leg, I've really not recovered well. I'm really behind in terms of training where I want to be and two weeks on Saturday I have Ironman Cork 70.3. Now lots of times you'll see people on the internet talking about training sensibly, sticking to your plan, all of that and there is a place for that and I'm going to put an asterisk next to what I'm going to say now, I'm panic training. I'm not going to be stupid, that's the asterisk, but I am panic training because that's how I feel. So this is day one of an eight or nine day, depending on how broken I get, training block, where I'm going to be trying to put myself in the best position I can for a good day at Cork Centre Point 3. So buckle up, because this one's going to be a bit of a roller coaster. Whoa, it is red hot. Run done and dusted. That was just a steady run, five and a bit, and a bit miles, 44 and a half minutes, eight and a half minute miling. In my defense, there is a big hill on the route that I've run around. Right, where am I at to give some context in my year and then in my training week this week? So in my year, I've had a pretty good year. I had a broken big toe in January. Other than that, I've been fairly consistent. I've done quite a bit of racing though, quite a lot of bike racing, done two middle distance tries, so 70.3s and challenge Roth, as well as a fair few other things. So it's the racing more than anything that has broken up my training, particularly over the last couple of weeks. So I'm not actually in a bad place fitness wise. I'm just not where I want to be but I think if we're athletes we always feel like that don't we so maybe that's just it anyway so I'm feeling pretty fit so I feel able to press on and do this sort of panic training block I wouldn't be doing this if I had an extended period off and I've thought quite hard about how to pitch today's video because I never normally say the words panic training I don't mean them I always say you know I'm going to do quite a lot of training I'm just not going to miss any sessions but in my head I am panicking so I'm just going to be open and say I'm panicking so what are the next eight or nine days gonna look like? So this week is the week after I did the Outlaw Full Relay. It is Friday morning. I've done this week so far two swims, two runs and one ride, just an hour ride. So three or four hours of training. Now that's okay, that's a pretty okay week, but it's not enough for me to be making significant steps forward in my fitness. And it's definitely below what I would normally be doing. So I'm feeling quite fresh this morning. Now I've recovered and that's gonna give me the encouragement to crack on now. So first session of the day is that, What's going to happen the rest of the day? I'll see you at lunchtime for a swim because I'm going to cram in this third swim of the week. See you there. All right, so I am actually working today, just working from home, so it's easier for me to fit training around. I have just been for a lunchtime swim. I swam 1.6k in total. I did 1.5k straight off, pulling paddles, just trying to get swole and then 100 just pulled just so i could get that feel for the water i'm trying to have a plan for every session yes it's not super scientifically thought through but just go into a session with a plan so that it happens and so that i feel like there's some, you know, some sort of meaning behind it and the plan for that session was to work on strength sure i might have got a better job done if i'd have done some intervals but time crunched i'm just going to swim for half an hour that takes half an hour it doesn't take 45 minutes with recoveries however Although I'm panic training, although I'm getting a massive training block in this next week, I'm going to have to pause it, I'm afraid, right now, because we, Liz, have got a massive announcement, haven't we? Yeah. What on earth has happened today? I upgraded my air fryer. Oh my god. It was late arriving. Yeah. Actually, it was about 40 minutes late arriving. Yeah. And I now have a new Ninja wow. double draw. Wow. Woo -woo. I mean, the possibilities are endless, aren't they? <laughs> we, have, we did have a single draw, but we just thought, the, do you know what? One. Thousands of hours at work between the pair of us. Out with the old, one draw, basically useless. Two draws, I cannot wait to air Ooh. fry absolutely everything. Does all sorts, max crisp, <laughs> air fry, roast, reheat, dehydrate and bake. You can sink it, you can have it different times, it can finish at the same time. I'm sold. All right, use the discount code triathlon down at Ninja and they will tell you to <laughs> sod off. Anyway, <laughs> are we using it today or what? Right. Oh, yes. Right, that's it for lunchtime training. Now, annoyingly, or not annoyingly, it's forecast to rain all day today. It hasn't actually rained yet. And we have our club chain gang on a Friday night. So hopefully it stays dry, we can get out. But I know what will happen, it'll just rain tonight. But we will see what happens in another four or five hours. I need to reorganize my whole kitchen now. Oh man, let me know to get out of the way. Yeah. Okay then, evening ride time. This is my first ride 
outdoors since Outlaw last weekend. And then before then, I hadn't ridden outdoors for a week or so, so it feels quite weird to be out on a bike, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. It's just like riding a bike, isn't it? Now, so Friday night is our chain gang night, but a lot of the guys are, on, are in Italy this week on a cycling trip, so I don't expect there are many people out. Maybe nobody, but one way to find out, and hopefully a couple come out so we can have a nice sort of tempo ride. Not looking to break any records tonight, just have a good a good ride, a bit good visit to the uh, zone buffet, as we like to call it, but nothing too hard, just have a good good group ride, and it'll probably be about an hour and 40, an hour and 45 in the bank, which will be a, rounding off a solid day, so let's get out there. Somebody commented, Dean, on one of our videos from this ride a couple weeks ago, saying, how am I ever going to be chain gang world champion if I don't try and sprint? Which is true, but I tried then, I still couldn't come by you, <laughs> even though you were on the front. <laughs> so, I think my best chance is Dean not coming out. When are you going on holiday? <laughs> <Soon>. <laughs> Good ride, chaps. Enjoy that. Good. Yeah. 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 Good. We kept it together for the most part, didn't we? And only really split up to right at the end. I think it's a real good ride. Nobody yeah. gets a good workout, don't they? Yeah, just a little at the end, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Of course, we would Yeah, I thought that's the plan, isn't it? All right, Steve. Um, that was exactly what I needed, and hopefully the other guys had a good ride as well. There were seven or eight of us out, so not a huge group, but a lot better than just me on my own. And we kept it together as a good group. Slow is smooth, and smooth is fast according to Norcal Cycling. And genuinely, we were moving pretty well, even though we were keeping it quite controlled. We pressed on towards the end and had a strong finish, but as I said earlier, got to be involved in these sprint finishes, haven't I? So although I didn't win the chain gang tonight, I had a good ride. In the last five minutes, I averaged 398 watts as an average, not a normalized. So the normalized was probably north of, north of 400. So that is a good little effort and that good bit of confidence. I didn't want to go full gas and ruin the weekend because this is day one of me training with a sense of urgency but day one's gone well i'm feeling good what i'm also doing is other than when i'm training i use a lot of garmin devices and i don't really use my watch outside of training but i'm gonna wear it now for the next hopefully week or 10 days or so and just see how the things like the body battery and the things like the uh, training readiness and all those scores and the sleep tracking and all that hrv what they say because i don't really look at anything like that and i might not use it for the next week or 10 days or so but i think having that data could be helpful so that is what i'm going to do so i'm going to go and put a watch on now because i assume when i'm training the garmin thing is picking up everything from me and from sensor so i don't need to wear it hopefully and then that will pick it up from garmin connect surely i don't know anyway that is day one done and dusted thank you very much for watching hope your training is going well let me know if you're doing cork 70.3 and hopefully you're also not in the 20 to 24 age group and i'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock for some more panic training